Hello and welcome to this week's Three Cuckoos Podcast. My name's Rob Dodsworth. Episode number six. I am six. positive of it. I am here today with my faithful friend, Mr. Mark Ibbotson. Hello, Mark. Hello. And for the first time in three weeks, Mr. Timothy Newsom Ward. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Oh, yeah. I have returned. It's good How's to be back. Tan? Uh, have good. You t- have you tanned? A little bit. Was it sunny? Was it nice? It was 35 degrees. Did you drink lots of tequila? No, you weren't in Mexico. In <laughs> Sangria. Sangria. That's Sangria. I didn't, but the rest of them did. Did you eat paella? I didn't, uh, no, I didn't actually have paella this y- time. You're kidding? No. We were going to go to paella on the last night, but the dog was poorly. So the we had dog to was ill. We booked a nice restaurant as well for it. <laughs> 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 I had... Um, yeah... That's about it. I didn't really have yeah. anything Spanish to eat. <laughs> you just ate omelette and chips. Just had, yeah, beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> omelette and chips. <laughs> Every omelette night. Chips, lad. Double egg and chips. Went down beach to Fat Franks and had a oh, fry up. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fat, Fat, Fat Franks. Franks. Oh, look, love, there's an English pub there. Mm. Let's go. Let's have pie. Frank. Pie and The Mac. usual. <laughs> have you well, got any black sausage. pudding, Frank? Open that jar board. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> None of this for a mug tonight, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> steady, steady. It's just me in a frying pan tonight. Swing it around. <laughs> Don't scream on <laughs> fry bread, you bastard. <laughs> you tight ass. So, um, yeah. was it just you, a beach, and a lot of glow sticks? Yeah. Yeah, was it that Pretty one much. of those holidays? Yeah. yeah. Why did he have glow sticks? Raven on the beach. Raven. On his own? On the beach. Possibly. What would be the point? <laughs> What's the point of me glow sticks? Gonna get a blast. The plane going over. It does <laughs> land on me. <laughs> <laughs> Is he waving me down? <laughs> Tim's like legging it. <laughs> His little <laughs> seaplane after him. It <laughs> 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 landed. Cool. So what did you do? You said it was moist. Uh, um, yes, it was, was it? about 75 to 80% humidity. <sighs> so it was pretty much moisture yeah. all the time. You're just sweating constantly. Soaking wet. It was good though. Yeah, go for your pause. Yeah. yeah, opened it up like a sweat room. Really, <laughs> yeah. it was like twenty-seven degrees on the night. You just you even... imagine him there on the beach and his budgie smugglers <laughs> glistening. Yep, glistening. <laughs> I went to the beach twice. Did you? Mm. Did you really? Glistening. Glistening. It's <laughs> a good word. <laughs> it's yeah, it was slippery good. to it the good. touch. It was <laughs> a long drive. Stop it now, please. <laughs> Three thousand mile round trip. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Yeah. and you drove it, and I drove it. <clears throat> did you go down windy cliff tops and stuff uh, like that? As we well? did on the way there because you go across the Pyrenees, yeah, which is the mountain range across uh, the bottom of France and Spain, top of Spain, which cuts it in half. So that's pretty cool. You go over like a really cool bridge, yeah. Um, didn't invite then, us though, did you? Yeah, you could have come, yeah, we could have gone. gone, didn't invite me, yeah, he did. Well, he didn't invite me, he must have probably invited you. I think he did. I can't get the time off work, yeah. Well, I could have gone. I've well been off sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was nice. Nice breather. Look at Rob's face. <laughs> you, don't, you don't look impressed. It's the light from the laptop. Oh, is it? You don't it look is, impressed yeah. with I'm, the I'm tanning. Oh, yeah. it's, it's the UV. It must be nice going abroad this time of year. <laughs> it, it must be. Must be nice to be able to go on holiday. Yeah. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you twat. <laughs> I've got two bloody kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's your yeah. own problem. How do the dogs cope with it? Are they all right? They were a bit. They were all right till we got to like the south of France, where it started getting oh, quite hot. Well, they eat them, don't they? Yeah, and then the people chasing us down the motorway with the <laughs> net and the, and the butcher's knife. <laughs> dog catchers. <Wow. laughs> Did they like anal cavity search your dogs yeah. as well as you? <laughs> as you go through <laughs> customs. Well, the funny thing is, when you gra- when you drive, once you get into France, you don't you don't stop at customs. You just drive over the border, and there's no. There's no one there. No one there, pretty much. Yeah, there's meant to be. Yeah, they <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. don't really give a shit. So you just keep going. I'll just sort of eating baguettes and yeah. <laughs> smoking <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> Drinking wine. Yeah. Pretty much. Half price sale. <laughs> Selling gal. <laughs> you know how many more <laughs> berets on? Drive yeah. a little basket. Yeah. A string of onions around the neck. Come on through. Hello. <laughs> like hello, hello, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rene, I was just pissing by the door. <laughs> I was just, just pissing. pissing. Pissing by. Oh, well. Good yeah. moon. I'm yeah. glad you had a nice time. Yeah. Did you have a nice time yeah. whilst I've been away? We did, actually, what, didn't we? Yeah, Mark got sciatica. Yeah. Oh, yes. Fir- the first week, uh, well, obviously, we didn't do it one week. Yeah. Because we were ill. Um, and then after I'd finished 
shitting myself inside out. I got yeah. sciatica, which we talked about last week, yeah. and that's carried on. I'm now I've been signed off sick for a couple of weeks by the doctor, which is nice. Has he so given you some nice pills? Yeah, to chew on. Yeah, I feel a bit better now. I felt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was when I got here tonight. I think I was I'd overdosed slightly because I didn't feel very well at all. <laughs> um, it's got a bit sweaty, a bit clammy. Yeah, just like this just ghost, bit, this yeah. sweating ghost in a chair. That's kind of how I felt when I got here. You're all right, um, Mark. You're all right, Mark. I feel a bit better now. Yeah, I, I think so. I think the cocoa de Molland ibuprofen has just sort of chilled you out in yeah. there now yeah. and topped in. Yeah. So yeah, other than that, um, that's about it. Yeah, not I'm playing a lot of games because I can't really mm. get about. Mm. Which I'm not really complaining about, but no, I suppose it's enjoy it while you can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Back at work, yeah. a couple of weeks. So. Rest. Well, it's all you can do. It's just rest. Well, it's, it's rest and then a bit of exercise in between. Yeah. Some stretches. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, like a stretch. Stretch it out. Got to keep mobile. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. Aye. I walked. I walked up to the post office today. Ooh. Did I you? think when I got there, I think people closed. started looking me, looking at me funny, but I probably looked like a. A withdrawing heroin addict. <laughs> so I was like sweating, and <laughs> so it was so much effort to get up the hill. Yeah, just with my back, and I half my tablets because I thought, oh, it's it's, go, it's 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 going now. <laughs> I didn't realise that the pain in my back was less because I'd been taking my tablets. Tablet. So I only took half, and then when I sort of halfway up the hill, I realised that it was a bad bad thing to do, and I was really struggling. And like a gripping on like an old person to the like the <laughs> when they were waiting in the queue, I was like holding on for dear life. Everyone's looking at me. I've got this like a mobile phone in a box in my hand. They're looking at me like, I bet he's selling that for crack money. <laughs> crack oh, money. Music magpies. <laughs> kind of similar kind of. I need to score. <laughs> Can't wait for my shit to come through for this. <laughs> for music magpies. Oh, no, I think it's gone to mobile phone exchange. Who did it? They offered me the most money, so. Very good. £65. So you didn't let the magpies take it in the end? No, fuck the magpies. Yeah. The robbing bastards. Although they did offer me. Um, 9p for every CD I've got which I thought was a good deal did they 9 pence that's pretty good actually 9p yeah. it is for some of the shit in Rob's collection oh that's Ooh. not very nice is it I'll give you 9 pence for your entire Brian Adams collection <laughs> it's the shit that I'm trying to get rid of that, uh, that's uh, only worth 9 pence yeah what about you Rob how was your MRI yes uh, yeah I had my MRI on Saturday um, it's just a bit weird. I've never had it before. It's just, it felt a bit weird. Because they you, slip you into one of those machines. You go in, they slip you into a machine, and then they slip you, you right have to back wear a gown. Again, and then just tell you to get lost. No? No. No, they told no me gown. to take the belt off my jeans. Take your belt off. Because it's a Was big, it a man or a woman? It were a big one. Uh, a, wim, a woman. Was it? Aye. Take your belt off. Uh, so I went Why? in, she went, put your stuff in a locker, and <laughs> get on. Give me the key. Get on, love. <laughs> so they put me, me head in this brace. And, yeah. off, and off I went in. She went, do you want some music on? I went, oh, yeah, okay. So she put me these headphones on. Mm. And I went, you do know I'm kind of deaf in one ear. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> and she went, it drowns out the sound of the MRI. Uh, okay. So she turned it on. Literally, I was straining to hear the music. It was on that <laughs> quietly. Um, and then MRI just came on. What was it? Like that. And I was, was like, it? can't hear it. Um, it was a radio station. Mm. Yes. Mm. The Pulse. Uh, no, it was Capital. Oh, Jesus yes. wept. Capital. So I think as soon as Maroon 5 on, I just switched off anyway. <laughs> they put Maroon 5 on Capital? It I thought was... it was Dance and R&B. Well, that's what Maroon 5 just, are now. No, it's just popping yeah, it. Pretty much. Pure Every pop. Every time I get in the car and Catherine's left, like, Capital on the radio, I like it, it, I have to put my head through the window. I just can't abide it. <laughs> like a Doberman. Yeah, just, just <laughs> smash <laughs> through the glass. It's just oh, that like, awful. Don't even wind it down. No, it's either that or Radio 1. It's like, ah! I wish I was deaf. <laughs> that shit's off. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have a clue how it's gone or anything. I just don't get any results for a while. So yeah, I'll have to have a look at. Yeah. So you just it. literally go in, do it, come out, off you go. Off you go. So it's but no better though. I felt no. I felt really weird after I come out, and I mm. said to Andy, "It's it's just completely psychological, is yeah, it?" Yeah. I just felt so sick. <laughs> hmm. Um, it's quite stressful but then about I, you well, no I nearly nodded off I swear down a I lot nearly, of people just go to sleep yeah, yeah I nearly nodded you off you just have to lay there you can't do all only about 10 minutes yeah I couldn't I couldn't really move um, it's probably just the stress of being there yeah I don't, I don't know I did, I, maybe I wasn't that bothered maybe in the depth yeah, yeah. Psychologically. Core, psychologically I was quite depths. upset about it but I don't know I didn't feel it but yeah no. I just felt a bit poorly then for the rest of the day um, and didn't really do anything else god you are a drama to be fair. Queen. Nah, just no. Nah, I'm not bothered. Um, what else did I do? Uh, uh, Nothing really. Uh, uh, Nothing. Nothing. Now I, I understand. Um, not at all. 
that we got a shout out on another podcast and you had a bit of an issue with it. We've been doing all right actually on shout outs. Yeah, the uh, the BS podcast. What's that stand for? Um, I don't know. I think Bullshit. it's um, <laughs> blind sciaticas. Oh. <laughs> Death sciatica would be yeah, better. Um, it would, wouldn't it? Mm. Match. Yeah, it would. Uh, so yeah, they they uh, give us. They, well, they said they tweeted out that they'd given us a bit of a shout. Right. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to listen. Yeah. I'm going to be nice. I'm yeah. going to listen. Follow our fellow podcasters. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, power to the people and all. Yeah, that. podcasters mm. unite. Is um, that Janet Jackson song. What, what podcasters power unite? <laughs> power to the people. Power to the people. Uh, John it, Lennon. John Lennon. Yeah. Oh, was it revolution? To the, no, I don't know. Forget it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. You've got me thinking now. Um, so... Oh, I'm thinking Rhythm Nation, so... <laughs> Rhythm Nation! <laughs> um, right, sorry about that. So, <laughs> I had a listen, and yes. they said they liked the show. Yeah, thank you. Um, but it was like Harry Potter without the magic. What? <laughs> and they said we talk about football a lot. I don't think we talk about it a lot. I suppose we have Prem... I think we talked slash prophecies slash, but it, it only goes on for about <coughs> six, seven minutes. Yeah, if that tops. it's probably about ten. So we do have a bit of chat, it's but it's a, kind of like it's a the, cultural <coughs> thing, isn't it? Especially in England, soccer. Yeah, it is. It's oh, quite big. Over so here. to be it's fair, not, it's not soccer. It's football. Yeah, I don't get Mark started on this. So because yeah. they've just got a glorified version of rugby. <laughs> it's not football, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. So I thought, well, to be fair, the BS podcast it's very similar to ours, if mm. I'm honest. They're just having a bit of a ramble mm. about what they've done and this, that, and the other. But because it's Americans, they've just got guns under the pillows. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Please. Even the nine year olds have guns under the pillows. Right back at you, big guys. Um, so, yeah, but no, it's good. Check it out, the BS podcast. It's all right. Is it good? Yeah, it's all right. Thanks, Awful Like Puff. I said, it's very similar to ours. So. There's your free it's, shout out. Yeah, if free you didn't. Well, there you go. We'll do the shout out. Awful Puff. Yeah, we'll do the shout outs later. No. Shout it out. Dumbledore. So what have you done this week? Agony. Apart from just literally, moving, that's all just I've done. Sitting, I've sat, laid, shaking. moved around short, for short periods. That's it. That's all I've done. So mm. shuffled. I've a played lot. on my computer. I've shuffled. done nothing. Finished watching um, season four of the Walking of the Walking Dead, Dead yeah. after your. It was now. Can I just? It's say, because the I'll mid-season break. Up. Yeah, that's what you thought was Do the end what? of season four. And I've, I've said this to you a lot of times, haven't I, Tim? The mid-season break does my bloody yeah. head in because yeah. do you know what? Sometimes it can be like nine months yeah. of season break. I thought it was a whole new season <laughs> because it goes in a totally different direction as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And <clears> loads <throat> of people were slagging the last part of the season off, where they're yeah. just walking aimlessly down trade tracks. Yeah. Um, well, that's. I mean, I, you know, what? I'm at Working Dead. That's kind of how I watched the whole thing, just being a bit like that for me. Have you seen it all? I've seen, we've watched the beginning of season two, but I'm just bored. You see, I thought it gets the, better. the bit with the kind It gets of, better. I watched, the, I watched the finale of Zombies. The governor yeah, finale was, yeah. was the best episode going. Oh, it was phenomenal. It was just unbelievable. I like the sort of, the way, the thing for me with The Walking Dead is it's all been done before in the films. From what I've seen of it. I know what you're saying. So I I, for saying. me personally, I mean, I've said it before, but I mean... It, it just didn't do anything new. I think. I think the fact that it's a mini series, it gives it a bit more. It can be more character driven. It can, yeah, it can give flesh out the is. characters a bit more. And I, I mean, I liked. Uh, I like the main guy, obviously, in it. But I, the rest of them just didn't really care about. Mm. <laughs> I know it's really bad because everyone loves the walking there, but it just doesn't. I don't. Each to the room. Yeah, it's it all didn't right. grip me at all. Yeah, it's all right. Like um, Robbie don't like. Um, I'm keep, I like it. Well, so you don't like, you don't like Baratheon. You don't, no, you don't. You don't like Game I of Thrones, no, you're weirdo. I, I, well, that's just, fair enough. But that's I mean, just me. That's, 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 you see, that, I can't be alone. That's fantasy. You're not alone. That's fantasy, alone. isn't it? And then, you yeah. are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here with you. The Leftovers is getting good. No. But it keeps following... I started a, watching The Blacklist. A certain person every week. Boring. The Blacklist. Yeah, that one with James Spader in. Um, new on oh, yeah, yeah, they're advertising yeah. it now, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? I didn't really like it. I don't like James Spader, really. He was not, good in not Stargate. <laughs> not against him. He was good in Stargate. <laughs> He's won an yeah. Oscar, don't you know? Yes. Big up. He was what, in like... I've done Video Sex, yeah. Lies and Videotapes or something like that. Was it that, was it? Something like that. Bloody hell. What is it now, right? I was watching like someone on was it YouTube or Twitch the other day and there's like an, a, an advert for Xbox One oh, yeah. and it's just game footage of different games. Right. Voiced... It's got like a big, big booming soundtrack. Yeah. And behind it, Sylvester Stallone. Really? He's doing this speech about life. Right? The other day I'm watching wow. telly and there's an advert for Burger King and Richard yeah. Blackwood. 
<laughs> was it? Richard Blackwood. <laughs> oh, your career is in the shitter. Do you remember when Richard Blackwood was on MTV? Like, yeah. And he was like... He was everywhere. He had a everywhere. single. He had yeah. a single. He had a single. Yeah. He was everywhere. And he's his like... his dad had a single. Well, what happened to him? Remixed he's that. now he got like... He totally vanished, didn't he? He does Burger King adverts. He's now, he's now stood outside of Burger King with a meal going to this woman. Do you know how much this is? Yeah. Really? That's it. That's it, yeah. Did and he... then, worse than that, talk about careers in the shitter... The direct line advert, oh, Harvey Keitel. Yes. What? Harvey Keitel as Mr. Wolf selling insurance. Oh, come on now, come please. On. Come who's, on, Harvey. Who's next? It just goes to show, though, how much money these insurance companies make. They yeah. must have paid him a mint for that fortune. But and even like Sylvester Stallone, I wonder how much he got for the Xbox advert. Well, and he's not even it. in the advert. You don't think, even know it's him if you didn't. Well, right. If you didn't talk like he'd had a stroke, you wouldn't know it was him. But Harvey Keitel is acting. Yeah. Yeah. Snoop Dogg. In money, what is it? I don't even know. Money what supermarket. Is it, is it money oh, supermarket? That's shocking. That money is shocking. Supermarket. The guy who's in the car pretending to drive. Yeah, he's actually in um, Californication in the last season. Oh, is he? But he doesn't speak. His his part is that. But you just know him from the advert, and I'm sure that's why he got the part in. California. Is it just because all these big companies have got more money now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, because it's like it's like TV series. Most TV mm. series that come out now have got one big yeah. Hollywood actor in them. You know, like yeah. Hannibal had um, Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne and like Larry. the Blacklist got James Spader. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, they've all had Apparently them. Brad Pitt's looking for one, isn't he? Yeah, Dexter had one. Because he's getting loads of scripts, apparently, yeah. and he's just looking for the right one. Kevin Bacon in the following, he actually wanted to do mm. when he went to his agent and asked him to find him. Yeah, well, that's what Brad Pitt's doing just, now, apparently. They must. These companies must have an awful lot of money. Yeah. There is I a. I, I read somewhere that there's a there's a new one coming out and there is somebody massive in that. I can't remember who it is now. Rich, sorry, just going back to Richard Blackwood. Yeah. yeah in the 1999, he had his own show yeah. called the Richard Blackwood Show. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he was huge. He scored a UK number three single in 2000. The song Mama Huda Man. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, that was a remix of his father's track. It's, it says it's his Mama used to say, I think uncle's it was. uncle by his uncle oh, Junior. Oh, it was his uncle. There you go. What? Mama used to say, waste your time, get home. You, you've heard it. You must no. have done. I think the worst part of that whole segment there, Rob, is the fact that you know the song. Yeah, I know that. That's cool. worrying. That is it, really it, worrying. It's, I don't really know what happened to him. Though. Kind Richard of... Blackwood. Do you want me to tell you what happened to him? Yeah, I don't yeah. really know anything He was always a bit of a twat. <laughs> and thankfully, he just disappeared off no, our screens. I'll tell you what happened to him. It's just come back to me now. He went on Channel 5's The Farm. <laughs> Really? I I'm he did it oh maybe he presented it or he was on it. So I, I, was I just... think um he caught some of the splashback when Rebecca Lewis wanked off that pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He had acting appearances in Holby City. Oh my god. Everybody's been in Holby City. I've been in Holby City. All these Americans, <laughs> these Americans are like been casual. listening to this going, they have T V programs oh, yes. about someone wanking off a pig. What do they call it there? Whacking off, jacking, uh, jerking, jacking off, jerking, 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 jerking off that's a pig. A yeah, that's that's entertainment in England. We fucking love that shit. Are you kidding? He was <laughs> got, they've got Sn- Snooky or whatever. Fucking uh, Snooky. What's her name? Uh, Honey Boo Boo and shit yeah. like that. You fucking Honey kidding? Boo right? Boo. They invented it. Oh, that's store reality that's storage TV. wars. The whole the whole reason Kim Kardashian's still alive <laughs> is that she's got a fucking camera crew following <laughs> that bitch around. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He was in Celebrity <laughs> Detox Camp. A Celebrity. highlight of which was his self-administered coffee. No, enema. I would, yeah. enema, not I, anyway. You know no, no, not no. an anyway. No, that no, was just an saying enema. anyway. It just he nothing really. Self-administered a coffee enema. Was it hot on or cold? It, was yeah, it a latte? It just says it was a cappuccino when it came out. <laughs> <laughs> it, for, it, pumping eighteen liters of coffee into eighteen his liters anus and into his stomach. God, they blew up like a. Balloon. It was in a Bollywood film. <laughs> it was in a Bollywood film. Don't stop dreaming. In 2005. Don't stop. That's all I can think of as well. Dre- <laughs> don't don't stop. Don't stop dreaming. It has to be dreamings, though, shall we? Dreaming. Dreaming. the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> in 2005, Blackwood appeared in, Wearing a dress. in a comedy DVD. In what DVD? He was on Choice FM. He's in a lot of stuff. Oh, there you go. He's yeah. probably been a DJ. He was in, a, he was, uh, in Tennessee Williams' Cat on the Hot Tin Roof <laughs> in 2010. He was what? He acted in in the play. I remember. Well, I remember his little song that he, he had. would do. He had the role he of a, a donkey. He was a VJ, wasn't he? He was oh, a video the, DJ. Yeah, he oh. wasn't the role of the donkey. That was Eddie Murphy. No, in the musical. <laughs> ah, do you know what? Yeah, you can see him doing that. Donkey. Why does the donkey have to be black? 
um, stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> His massive penis. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so, makeup. His album, you'll love to hate this, got to thirty-five in the UK charts. That's that's a hit to me. We can segue yeah. that into what yeah. I've got to talk about. Mama oh. Huda Man got to number three, and then he did one, two, three, four. Get with the wicked, featuring <sighs> Dita, which got to number ten. Get with the wicked. He was so, a line rob. I don't know it. You do know it. Nah, no, don't. I think I want to know it. If we got in touch with him, he'd be on. Yes, he'd be on. I want to interview RB. I want to interview Richard Blackwood yeah, to find out what RB. he's done in his career since the farm, <laughs> since he watched Rebecca Lou's wanking, jerking off a pig. Was he on the farm or was that just me? That was the It was the detox It was show. Celebrity Detox. Oh. I want to find out from him first and what he's been doing since yeah. he pumped 80 litres of coffee into his own asshole. That had got a sting, is that? <laughs> was it? I think it was Costa. It was like being reborn. Costa? <laughs> They weren't even over here in 2000. Is that why they call Starbucks Starbucks? Because it's been through the bowels of a celebrity. And out of his star. <laughs> bowels. His brown star. It's been through the, 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 lower, the lower depths of a celebrity. So that was the week. <clears throat> that was the week that was. Mm, yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing really much mm. happened that I've week. sat on my sofa too much and watched too much shit on television. I watched Godzilla on Sunday. The, the new one? Yeah. Yeah, I've I seen it. It was very good. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I, I thought did. it was. Good. I thought it was a little slow, but when at the end of the film, I thought, no, actually, all even though Godzilla's only in it for like eighteen minutes. Out, eight. Is it eight minutes? Yeah, it, there's a YouTube video. If yeah. you go on YouTube. Yeah. Because we did a little thing about this, didn't we? I saw it. Yeah, if you'd actually yeah. bothered listening to the podcast yeah, that you missed, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> He's a supporter. Um, so yeah. I I looked it up on YouTube. There was a YouTube video, yeah. and it's basically I'm looking yeah. at you all the bits with Godzilla in <laughs> beardy, and it's just eight minutes long. Is that all it is? Yeah, eight and minutes? it makes no sense whatsoever. It's well done. I thought it was good. Film. I enjoyed it, but it just was a bit. We're all right, I suppose. It was all right. It was all right. I suppose. It was all right. It was all right. And now it's time for this week's housewife household hints with Grandpa Stan. Is this thing on? Do you have company but not enough space? Create a delightful buffet table by covering the ironing board in a bed sheet. I better go, I'm taking Ethel to bingo. It's mince and mashed potatoes for tea tonight. Hey everybody, it's Ben Doris and Stephen Dominguez. Go to purebspodcast.com and click on episode 29 where we talk about Batflex Satsu. Yeah, that thing's awesome. It's awesome in an awesomely bad way. But no, fuck you. It's good. It's not the right color. Yeah, you're not the right color. <laughs> purebspodcast.com Tim vs. Rock This week, starting a new feature. Tim vs. Rob. New Clash of the Titans. We'll have a new five question quiz every week. Five questions each. Five questions. On a different subject, which you won't know Blank. until the night of the recording. Do I'll give you. So, Rob, will, well, we'll toss a coin for who goes first. I think that's the fairest way of doing it. Yes. Um, and then we'll just take it in turns like that. Good. Happy? I'm always. I'm I can good. tell. I love someone a got quiz. a coin. I no. love a quiz. I didn't think I had to bring some cash with me. I just, um, I've got a credit card. <laughs> oh, flick that shit. I've got one. It's no. fine. It's a 20 pence. Ooh. Who's calling? Rob? Uh, I'm a tail kind of guy. <laughs> I've dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone down the sofa. It's gone down crack. No, I've lost it. it physically is. Pen. Yeah, it's actually gone. In his crack. Try again. <laughs> He's actually lost it. I've actually lost it. Shit. Right. It's mine. <laughs> Tails. It's tails. Oh. Do you want to go first or second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta go first. You want to go first? Yeah, I will, yeah. <laughs> to my death. Right, um, I'll go, right. The subject okay. matter is, Mark, the subject matter for this week is... 90s music. Oh! Sorry, Tim. <laughs> no, I'd be useless. It'll be cool. <clears throat> we used to listen to Atlantic 252. Yeah. <laughs> when it was popular. Go Ready? On. Yeah, Question yeah. one. Team Wheeler. Was the lead singer of which 90s band? Tim Wheeler. Tim Wheeler. <laughs> Can you offer it for a bonus? As Do you know it? No. <laughs> Tim Wheeler. I've, I, I'm going to give it a guess, but I've no idea. Oh, man. How long have I got? Not that long. Tim Depends Wheeler. how long you want to do my podcast. Shit. 
Don't know it. Um, no, I have no idea. I'm sorry, I don't know it. I'm going to have to guess. Ash. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Well done. Is it right? Yeah. <laughs> it must oh have been in there somewhere. Oh my God. It must have it been, must in, been there. in there somewhere. I, I was going to go for a read. You don't just pop that out, do you? I'm impressed. I am wow. impressed. You don't just pull that out. You don't. It will have been in there somewhere. <clears throat> that must have been in there somewhere. Oh, They've shit. kind of got a sort of kind of same kind of thing. Tim, question yes. one. Yes, Quizmaster. Gaz Coombs was the lead singer of which 90s band? Uh, <laughs> Super grass. Well done. I knew that one. Question two. Yes. Rob. Yes. What was Blur's first number one single? Country House. Nice. Yeah. Was that you, correct? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to definitely lose the music question. <laughs> Probably a bit easy. Tim, question two. Yes, Quizmaster. Which Iron Maiden song made number one for two weeks in December 1990 and January 1991? 1990. <sighs> I didn't even know Iron Maiden had a number it one. Was their own, it was their only number one. 1990. I uh, do not know that, Quizmaster. Just have a guess. There's no point in... The only one I I, I would say bring your daughter to the slaughter. But, <laughs> but that yep. was what, in the 90s? I thought yeah. it was like the early 80s. Nope. Well really? done, buddy. That's, that's why I said to you, have a guess. Yep. Bring your you daughter. It. Yeah, awesome video as well. Yeah. I'm surprised they made number one. Yeah, no, it did. I really really. God, I, that's really bad. I thought it was... Must have been a reason. I don't know. No Weird. idea. Rob, question three. Yeah. The song Basket Case yes. by Green Day yes. came from which album? Oh, <laughs> man. I should know that. And I can see the front cover and everything. I can see the front cover. I have no idea. Matt, that'll be in there somewhere, but I have no idea. Oh, man. That's it's, awful. It's something like, I know this isn't it, it's something like Welcome to the Sanitarium or something like that. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Pat, nope. I, don't, I, I don't know it. Tim? I've actually no idea. No idea. The answer is Dookie. Dookie, right. No, I want to go, go, yeah, it, I'm sorry. I'm not, a big fan. I'm not a massive fan. I like the song, but yeah. I'm not a big fan. Um, Tim, question three. The song November Rain came from which Guns N' Roses album? Use, oh, no. Appetite for Destruction? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to go yeah, I Use Your Illusion, the wrong one. I thought it was going to be. It's two, isn't it? No, it's one. Yes. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> So you got it wrong both times. I was going to say that. Yeah. Uh, I have to kill me for that. Question four. She will kill you for that. Rob. Yes. Who had a number one album in the 1990s with Automatic for the People? Oh, what an easy one. Ariel. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> so I don't think yours is easy. No, don't be silly. That's... No, it's quite difficult. <laughs> what was the largest selling album in the UK of the entire 1990s? Of the entire 90s. Yes. <laughs> could be a few. No, it can't. You, worldwide or just UK? UK. That could be Snap Greatest Hits. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go Boss Drum the Shaman. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I have a guess. Have a, yeah, you better You're going to have to have a guess, guess. Uh, History of Michael Jackson. No. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, you better. I'm not going to get a it's point. De- is anyway. it definitely yeah. maybe? It was What's the Story Morning was Glory it? by oh, Oasis. Yeah. yeah. I it sold more than any other. Mm. The fastest selling album of the 90s in terms of how quickly it sold. Yeah. It didn't sell as many because yeah. it was shit. It was B, you know? Really? The third one, yeah. Really? It shifted hundreds of thousands. It yeah. was ridiculous. Well, absolutely- really quickly. But that's because, you know, what's the story was so good. Yeah, they hyped it big time. Final question. Rob. Mm. It's the lyrics. Because <laughs> I know what you like these. These are easy. You ready? The mm. line is, and I just hope that you can forgive us. Is that a hit? Yep. <laughs> Quizmaster, these are hard. Good. They're supposed to be hard. Yeah. Oh, my giddy aunt. Is this of all time? Of no, any it's song? 90s. It's 90s. Still 90s. 90s. It's just 90s. Catherine got this. Listen to him. Catherine got this. It's easy. Catherine got oh, it. Oh, it's got a bit. Oh, man. It always rings a bell. I keep talking to you about these things, these quizzes that I do online. You've got loads of them. Yeah, I know. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, believe man, it. Man, 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 man. <laughs> it's the Manic Street Preachers. It's unfair. Um, <laughs> You've got room. one. You've got one. Everything must it. go. Um, <laughs> it is, isn't it? It, it is, isn't it? it? Well. Yes. Yes. well done. And I just hope that you can forgive us. Nicely done. Didn't Rob, uh, Tim. Tim, yours <laughs> is probably easier, actually. If you, <clears> if you know it. <laughs> Rapping on the windows, whistling down the chimney pots. 
They're all these are awful. They're just head wreckers. <laughs> I'm gonna make it easy, what I? He knows it. Yeah. I don't yeah, know it. I wouldn't so know it. Have a guess. No. Nah. No. No idea. Rob. I know the light, but I just can't think what it's from. Go for it. Bonus points. It's, you don't get a bonus point. So no, no, difference. it's just for fun. Uh, ocean colour scene, day we caught the train. Ocean colour scene, day we caught yeah. the train. The results. Oh, six, three. Something. Rob got four. Oh. Out of five. Did I? It's pretty Tim good, got two. You did well. Well done, Tim. I'm that, not good at the music. Tim Wheeler. Questions. Where did that come from? Where did from? that... <laughs> impressive. <laughs> impressive. Very. Wow. Okay. Next week's season on music, so don't worry, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next week for another Tim vs. Rob. Boom, Tim. boom. Yeah. <laughs> It'll probably get better. <laughs> Hello. The Three Cuckoos Podcast. You are here, you have downloaded us. Thank you very, very much. That's an enormous moth. Final cut of the podcast, we'll leave it to the deaf member of yeah. the group. The deaf member of the group, yeah. How the hell do you masturbate with a hook? <laughs> Kissy fur was pretty good. Gummy kissy. Whoa, hang on. Kissy fur. Turn your fleece into a trendy gilet. Hello, pets, and welcome to this week's How To. Thank you for the follow, Baratheon. <laughs> if I could turn back time. Thankings. Hi, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Some cheese and a pickle. Cheese and fine wine. Oh, it's the Three Cuckoos podcast. That's it for this week's <laughs> Lucky <laughs> News. <laughs> the worst podcast item ever. Tune in, iTunes, Stitcher, download us, subscribe us, yeah. stream us. Visit our blog, because I do that. Yeah, and get us at Three Cuckoos. That would be a show. So we've got we've got a few shout-outs this week. This shout-outs. Honourable mentions. Honourable mentions. So we've got Brocast Podcast. Hello. Big up. Big up. Pod on Pod. woo With Josh and Joel. Love a bit of Pod on Pod. <laughs> Love Pod on Pod. Pod on Pod action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have the B3 podcast. Yeah. Yeah. B3, right, is uh, B, B and B podcast. Ah. So the um, three Bs. And it's it says here that it's blue bonnets, bagpipes and books. Ah. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it don't. They've got they've got a hell of a lot of followers Pipes on Twitter. Bagpipes are horrendous. Got a lot of followers on Twitter. Oh, it'll be nice to them then. Yes. Your podcast is amazing. Very nice. I love bagpipes. Bagpipes are pretty cool. No, they're not. They're really horrendous. It's an awful noise. Do you know what? There's so many people who just quite, adore the bagpipes. Yeah, I know, I know. They're quite haunting y. Grating, I think the word you're looking for is. <laughs> oh, uh, the Glenn Show. Hi, Glenn. Mark just likes Glenn. to be shocking. Hey, Glenn. I don't like to be shocking. Don't you? I'm not trying to be provocative. <laughs> it's just the I way just it is. am. Provocative. And then we've got Hydra Level 4. Yeah. Hydrate Level 4. I believe that is a father and son movie podcast. It is, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> father and son. Father and son. Go on, Rob, give us your song. No, I'm not going to do that again. Maybe later. <laughs> and the last, but such definitely a, not least. There's a Cat gimp. Stevens you reference. You are such a gimp. <laughs> Bring out the gimp. He's uh, already stack, here. Stack mm. podcast. Stack. Stack. Stack it up. Yeah, oh, they and, said they liked it. And the Glenn show as well. Don't forget We've the Glenn the show. Glenn I said, show. said the Glenn show. Oh, we said the Glenn yeah. show. I apologise. It's all right, Rob. It's all right. We'll Shut say it again. Rob. So we say the Glenn show again. Glenn so quick, show. A quick run through. Who was that? Broadcast. Have you guys said the Glenn show? The Glenn show. the Glenn show? Big fan of the Glenn show. Big fan. Glenn's yeah. Glenn. If you're listening to this Glenn show, that's about eight shout outs you've had. Yeah. So we, we expect at least one. Yeah. At least one. Glenn. Preferably Come twelve. On, and and we are now stack approved as well. Stack approved. We're not just mentioning stack, we're a stack approved. Yeah, we're a stack approved podcast. It's like an AA rating. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. a Michelin star. Yeah. So that's this week's Michelin. honorable mentions. Um I'd just like to say if we've got a promo, it's about a couple of minutes long. It's not even that. Yeah, it's if about any, 55 seconds long. If any other podcast listen to this and they want to put it on theirs, um, just let us know. Drop us a line on Twitter at Three Cuckoos. It's you 51. scratch our backs. We'll scratch yours. We'll scratch yours. Same goes. Scratchy, scratchy. I'll, I'll cut my nails. Scratchy, scratchy. 51 <laughs> seconds. Monkey. It's good. It's yeah. a good advert. It is a good advert. Yeah, um, good. And the same goes the other way. If anyone's got an advert for their podcast, they want us to drop into ours. We'd love to drop We're it We're more than happy to. Yeah. Love to drop it in. We love the drop. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you farted as well. <laughs> this is Jason Derulo, and I listen to the Three Cuckoos podcast when I'm cleaning me trumpets. There was a story. I've got a story to tell you guys, right? Um, apparently, What's a mother and two teens allegedly have been arrested because they drew a 100-yard penis on a football field in America. That's impressive. Right. There is no video or 
photographic footage. So they have to say allegedly, but apparently they've been arrested for it. Um, and the police, it, this is in Michigan, in a place called Temperance in Michigan. And it's a 50-year-old woman, two teenagers, and the prime suspect in a vandalism case that tainted a football field. <laughs> police tainted. have accused the trio Was it- of using grass killer. To burn a 100-yard-long image of male genitalia into the it must turf. have taken a while, that. It must have taken a while, it, yeah. um, Did they have one in a helicopter to make sure they were getting it right? <laughs> yeah, possibly. From above. It was like a, a really lewd crop circle. Was it a, was it a soccer? <laughs> so they, they think it was... Um, or was it, it They the, think it's caused between $15,000 and $20,000 in damages. The home of the Baltimore Ravens. No, I think it Baltimore was... Baltimore Ravens. The Houston Oilers. Uh, disrupting the Bedford High School kicking mules. The, the Chicago Bears. Stop saying Chicago. Oh, what? Does it annoy you? Yep. Cool. Um, so, yeah, despite what may seem like a humorous subject, school officials are quick to note this isn't a laughing matter. This isn't a little prank misdemeanor, Superintendent Mark Clyans told the Detroit Free Press. Love that word. This is a felony. A felony. Whoever left the very inappropriate, disgusting symbol will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Yeah. And shot. <laughs> yeah, sh- <laughs> <laughs> Terrence yeah. Darby is now known. Oh, for crying out loud. Just to finish, I think it's very funny. I think it's hilarious. Yes. The um, thing with Americans is they always over-dramatise everything. But it says, it says a penis. Everything. Um, Cock and balls. It, it's surely they've got a Surely they've got to have done the testicles as well. Yeah, you can't just do a shaft. You can't just do a shaft. It's got the um, balls on. Did it have some little bits of jizz coming out at the end of it I, as well? <laughs> I says what they should have done is put a sign up next to the next to the pitch saying yeah. no cock and ball games. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Twenty foot cock and balls, Leslie! <laughs> <laughs> it's a hundred foot cock and balls. It's a hundred foot cock and balls. <laughs> hey Yeet. There's what? gotta be a photo of that somewhere. I can't believe that nobody's got a picture of that. Why would they? Well, why wouldn't they? Google like you said, album. Fox News will have been up in their Satellite. helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. We're live at the cock and ball scene. <laughs> Did they have it, it, it be like um, pixelated out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe because it, was a, it wasn't a flaccid member. They couldn't show it on, <laughs> on national television. <laughs> Is that flaccid or not? We can't show an erection. <laughs> It's Ron Jeremy's. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Hello, pets, and welcome to this week's How To with me, Sarah Milliken. This week, I'll be taking you on a step by step guide on how to iron a shirt for a funeral, a wedding, or a nice bar mitzvah. I love a bar mitzvah, me. Now, first of all, you need a shirt. And I'm assuming it's one with a lot of creases in it, hence why you need a how-to guide on how to iron a shirt. Now firstly, get your ironing board, or if you've not got that far and not actually gone out and bought an ironing board, just use your worktop. Now first things first, you've got to get your iron and plug it into the wall so it gets nice and hot. And make sure it's got some water in it if you want some steam. Secondly, what you've got to do now is figure out which setting to put it on. So if you want it really hot, you get the dial that's usually under the handle, you turn it right up, but there's usually a setting for like silk and cottons, and maybe a nice polyester. Now some people prefer to iron their clothes from the inside out, especially if maybe it's a t-shirt and you've got a print on the front. Now I find it best to maybe start with the sleeves, and then do the body of the shirt. Don't forget to do it in between your buttons, and then do the collar last. Now a really handy hint is not to leave the iron on your shirt because like some comedy cartoon you might have an iron print if you've gone off maybe to answer the phone or to go and have a poo. So when you're finished make sure you've got all the creases out, make sure it's all nice and new looking and then hang it up on a nice coat hanger. I like one with uh, maybe a wooden one, you know an expensive one that celebrities use. So when you're finished put it on a coat hanger. Just make sure it's cooled down if you're putting it straight on because it can just burn your nipples a little bit. Thanks for joining us this week, pets. But remember to join me next week when I'll be taking you through on a step-by-step guide on how to generate your own hydroelectric power using your own garden pond. Thanks for listening this week, pets. But I've got to go now. Me and Alan Shearer are going to go watch the championship. I love that Steve Claridge, don't you? Hi-yah! 
Stay tuned for Pirate Premier League Prophecies. National Podcast Day is coming September 30th. But what is National Podcast Day? Well, it's pretty simple, and you can help spread the word. National Podcast Day is dedicated to promoting podcasting worldwide through public engagement. You may be asking, what can I do to get involved on National Podcast Day? It's easy. Head over to nationalpodcastday.com and check the suggestions. But ultimately, the options are endless. Remember, September 30th, nationalpodcastday.com. I think British music is better than American. <laughs> oh, God. Do you think... Don't go here. Do you, do you... I think it is. Ooh, it has a... to be, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't say. You can say. You're nodding. <laughs> no, I can't say. Uh, Stop it... sitting on the fence, you boring get. I, I like sitting on the fence. You've got to, you've got to suggest... I think there's good things from both you... sides, but... Yeah, absolutely. You can't say... British music's amazing. I'm not saying it is. Not much comes out of Australia. Let's put it that way. No. Do you know what I mean? When you're no. talking, it's all it's all British and American anyway. Yeah, but which is better? It, there's. You, <laughs> you're such a fence. I don't know if you can draw a you're comparison. Like, really, I think someone said it on Twitter earlier on about somebody else. But you're like Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> you're the Switzerland of the Three Cuckoos podcast. When it, like, like in the war, you mean? You're so neutral. neutral. <laughs> I love them, and I love yeah. them. I got... <laughs> That's tricky. Word. I don't want to break my love for you. Huh? Um, Very tricky. That I don't one. want to upset anybody. You're both great. <laughs> American nice. American rock bands are awesome. Yeah, some wicked American. I don't rock. really care for American pop. Brits win. We we have Justin Bieber. We have Brits win. Yeah, Brits win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a it's a deal. Sorry. It's a deal clincher. Sorry, Yanks. Yeah. you lose. Justin You've Bieber. got Kesha and Bieber. Kesha. What's happening with Bieber at the minute? Anyway, is oh, hang on still... a minute. Bieber's Canadian. Well, it's that sort of same thing, isn't it? Anywho, <laughs> no Bieber's, <A> Bieber's Canadian. <laughs> Bieber's Canadian. Is he? Yeah, you've got to think of another one. Well, we should really apologize. Is Kesha Sorry. from America? <laughs> Sorry, Kesha. Canada. She. Why did I don't understand? Oh the, wait, Will I Am did birthday. There Will, you go. It's a deal. Is <laughs> Will I Am American? Yeah. Will I Am? He is. William is. American. William. <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> is that what we're calling William, him? William. William. Yeah. Go give us your Tom Jones. Will I Am? <laughs> Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, William. <laughs> Good to have you. He turns into Fireman <laughs> Sam, though, my Tom Jones. Don't, don't you like Will I Am? Um, do you know what? As a person, he's a, he's a really nice fella. You know, I've seen him on that voice thing. Yeah. We're not, even the winners don't know who. We're not. Nobody knows who they we're are. Not, yeah. We're not. Um, we're not talking about as a person. And he seems so. like a really nice guy. You're talking about as an artist. But that birthday record's absolute shit. <laughs> With a capital S. And a H and an I. And yes, a T. it really is, isn't it's it? Absolute bollocks! And if anybody played that to me on my birthday, what about that other shit you had me one? listening to the other week <laughs> that you brought it up on here? Um, Anaconda. Yes. Who sung that? Nicki Minaj. Where's she from? America. Hell, there you go, then. <laughs> hell, hell. She's from the bowels of the devil. The Can't of they the just devil. keep him? I think she was Amish. She went rogue, and we sent him <laughs> rogue Amish. Tim Westwood. We sent them westward. Boom! The big dog. Yeah. Big dog. In the house! What? He what was, is he still around, Mr. Westwood? No, he's dead. He's she's not She's the next dead. Ghostbusters film. He's dead to Radio 1. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Radio 1 do with their DJs? Just take them it back and shoot them? I don't know. No, they don't. They um, report them to Operation U Tree. Is that what they do? <laughs> and they get done for being paedophiles. He <laughs> touched me on Mrs. Merton. <laughs> Suddenly you're in dock. DLT. Yep. I'm the big dog. Yep. Guilty. He was, Send him down. He was hilarious, was Westwood, wasn't he? Brilliant. He won all there. What yeah. a guy. Seriously weird fella. And he, sh- he literally has been shot, though. He got I shot I think twice, so, yeah. It? Yeah. I wonder if he was the same before. Drive-bys, it was. Yeah, that's what it was. I think it was. No, you're thinking of where he works now. <laughs> the drive through. drive through. <laughs> drive through car wash. <laughs> Just listening to some beats <laughs> on his drays. On his drays, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be- beats by Apple now, innit? <laughs> beats by them. Apple they're and gonna, They're going to wind it down, aren't they? So Beats will become nothing. They're winding what down? Beats, the Beats streaming service. And about four, milli- four billion it. pounds says Dre doesn't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Must have made yeah. a fortune out of it. Yep. So, you were done about the new iPhone as well earlier on. Oh, it's, it's ace, six. isn't it? Apparently it's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. You know, you camp out for 16 weeks and live off your own filtered urine and um, then you get it home and it's it's bent in your pocket yeah bent yeah, yeah. they've been bending apparently 
How? Because they are so thin and so fabulous um, that they've been. They've now got a curve. Mm. Are if they you supposed have had it to in bend? your pocket for a few hours? No. No, they're oh. not. Oh, there is bendy screen technology now, isn't there? And apparently now uh, the yeah, new the iOS. Curve, isn't apparently the new iOS has completely knacked everything as well, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I read an interesting so. thing about uh, Apple are superb. Matt brilliant. Forbes, and they were saying, "Is Apple dead?" And they were saying all these things like sales are dipping; they're not innovating anymore. Like they used to do. It was really I can't remember exactly what they said at the end, but it was yeah, because really... there's a new um, Samsung phone coming out, and in the advert they say it's the UK's most popular mobile phone. Android brand. sell more than Apple. No, it's Samsung. Samsung sell oh, right. more phones oh, than Apple. Oh, it right. wasn't Android. So, I mean, because I mean, Android no. would do because yeah. it runs it's on everything yeah, other yeah. than Samsung, Blackberry. Yeah, I think Samsung are Which is shit. Last, I forgot what it's called. But like, didn't they have a lot of trouble last week or the week before with iTunes as well? With um, U2. U2, they paid they paid U2. You said on a podcast that they paid U2 a million pounds a minute, right? <laughs> they actually... No, I didn't wasn't say that. That was a joke. From, that wasn't actually far from the truth. It was a hundred million pounds Fuck. or dollars... Yeah, 100 million euros. What, for the rights to play their shit? To give, no, they gave their album away to every single iTunes subscriber. Jesus. You got their album, whether you wanted it or not. And you got Apple it. paid you two to do that? Yeah. Apple paid you two for the rights. Okay. Really? But there was like a wave of complaints of people yeah. saying they had viruses on the computer. I've got this U2 thing on my computer but, and I don't know how to get it yeah. off. They, in the end, had to release... Um, a tool to remove this U2 album from your computer. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, because it was like in, into your into yeah. your iTunes. They downloaded it into your iTunes, whether you liked it or not. So I'll probably have it somewhere. Yeah, I will as well. Great. I don't use iTunes. I, that's because you anymore. never listen to our podcast. So. No, I do it on. <laughs> I literally you don't do it all. Stitcher. Got I literally log in and make Stitcher. sure the podcast's all right, and then and then that's all. <clears> that's I, what I know. I actually I listen to some other podcasts. Don't I? I use uh, Podcast Republic on my phone. I've got that as well. It's very nice. It's all right, it's Podcast Republic. We are the third most viewed comedy podcast on the UKpodcasters.com website. Don't wind me up. Really? Really? If you go on to UKpodcasters.com and their directory, I put us on there. Um, We're the third. The the other two have got like double R's, but they're like... Screw them, man! They're probably like well established. We're like yeah. third on them. Yeah, we're not. They're not on episode six. No. Yeah. More like sixty-six. Yeah. That's six hundred and sixty-six. The number of the, the beast. beast. Sticking it to the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, That's interesting. Good. That's pretty good. That's that? really interesting. It's only like one hundred and twenty-seven views. I don't still. care. It's one hundred and twenty-seven. Yeah. It's 127 views towards world domination. Did you write that in your pink bookmark? It's red. It's not as pink. It's red. You've missed that <laughs> joke for like the last two weeks. I'm doing it now. Your jumper, incidentally. Yes. It's got a pocket on it. I know, I didn't make it myself though. What's the pocket for? The pocket? You could put anything in there. I don't think you could. I have my uh, a pet mouse in it. Right. What's it called? Seymour. Seymour? Yeah, because he's high up. <laughs> he's got like a bird's eye view. <laughs> No, uh, that's not funny. I just made it up, you tit. He's ne- next to your tit. There's a there's a hole in it, so I just sewed that pocket over. Right, oh, right. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand the point. In, you know. It does look like it's been added later. I will grant you that. It's a rustic mm. jumper. Rustic? Yes. Is that who makes it? Winter's no. coming. Who made it? Yeah, winter's coming, winter's exactly. Coming. It's nearly Halloween. No, you're not allowed to say that. It is what? nearly Halloween. Yeah. Because it's, what do you call it? What? From... Um, are you sweating? Have no. you just got glitter on your head? He's glistening. <laughs> Have I got glitter on he my head? He is glistening in the moonlight. Maybe I am sweating a little glistening bit. Glistening yeah. in the moonlight. I can feel the sun coming on. Good lad. <laughs> it's the first day of winter. No, gonna, it's not. No, it's not. It's the first day of autum. Yeah. Today. No, was it yesterday? It was yesterday, according yes. to Google. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Google. I love that. I Cheers didn't even Google. know what that was. I love that. I didn't know. Cheers, Google. So try it. <laughs> what do you do? I ain't got this on my phone. You, you will have to download it. How do you do no. it? Okay, Google. I think my phone's broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Google. Oh, there you go. What can I do for you, Tim? Is Ernie Hudson dead? <laughs> Lego deals. Oh, close. Sales and deals. Should we try again? See if we can get it through the microphone. What yeah. is Terence Trent? What am I asking it? New name. Okay, Google. Is Ernie Hudson dead? 
Don't like my voice. No, it don't. Lego deals again. Lego deals. Yeah. Do you think they're trying to push Lego for Christmas? <laughs> so have we all got that? Yeah. Anyone oh, does it Android? Work? Just it. Have you got Google search on your phone? No. Oh like my. Like, that's if you've got the Google thing there. Oh. It should just listen to you. Oh. I think it's only in certain versions of Android though. What is Tiki Taka? That's off the advert. Google, show me pictures of a ladybird cake. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. I'll put it so on. is it you just like talk to your phone as it is now? Yeah. So, so what do you just, say? So as long as you just so if you start from OK Google, that's it. That's mental. It's wicked. I use it all the time now. Does, well, it don't work. No. <laughs> it's all t- it's all time low. It don't work. It does we just usually. asked it twice if Ernie Hudson's dead, and it's come right, up with Lego on deals. Hang on a minute. So you you you're saying it's just going to listen to me? OK Google. <laughs> you, might, you might need the new 4.4.4 I'm not too sure Okay Google Riddle me this <laughs> Riddle me this That's a bit bizarre isn't it That is weird isn't it Okay Google Is Ernie Hudson dead <laughs> Ernie Hudson Wikipedia Actor killed by celebrity okay, death Google. hoax <laughs> Don't do anything on mine It's just listening to me I just press the little mic and it Oh does, that's it a bit goes, crap isn't it Yeah Place a call to you. You might need to set it up. Oh, I don't, I'm not too sure. Mine was already set up when I did mine. So yeah, you don't even have to hold the phone in your hand anymore. Okay, Google. <laughs> Make the tea, Google. Go and take a shit for me. <laughs> Clean my yeah. windows. It's a bit like that film Her. Have you seen that? Ben Her. With um, Joaquin Phoenix in it. No. Do, oh, I want to see that, but I haven't. And Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> it's, it's where he falls in love with his OS, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. They've just got a little earpiece in. Mm. And they literally it just listens to them all the time. And they, don't, they have a screen, but they never need to get it out. So they'll go, OS, read my emails. And it'll just go through their emails. Yeah. And then they'll go, when's my next appointment? And they'll go, your next appointment is at so-and-so. Wow. And, That's where yeah, it's going. And he falls in love with his OS, because it's so intelligent, is his yeah. OS, that it kind of talks to him. Do you want to chat? Oh, you sound a bit down. What's up? It was quite a, a look into the future, though. Because mm. you could see it going that way, actually. Yeah, yeah. That but you have a screen, but you kind of never need it because you've got this thing in your ear all the time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Subdermal, that's where it'll be. One possible so. future. Subdermal. Well, I'll just put a little bit inside mm. you and you, that'll just be connected. You'll just be connected biologically. Oh, Jesus. That's no, what you say to that. all the girls. I'm not having I'm that. just put a little bit inside you. You. you want it subdermal. But Apple will be downloading music to your ears. Yeah. <laughs> But you just don't want to listen bit, to it. Just the tip. I don't want to listen to you too. Just the tip. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> For your selection, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> You're hacking your own ears <laughs> off. <laughs> the worst thing is I don't know any. Any. That's the only one I Justin know. Bieber songs. And you know at oh, least one. Oh, he had one. another one out, didn't he? I wouldn't, I he's, wouldn't he's just not famous over here. No. He just isn't, is he? Steady. I bet there's a lot of believers. Believers in the UK. But hasn't he lost a bit of credence now? He's in prison for drugs and. I don't think he's in prison. Ian, everybody wants him to be in prison. I don't think he's in prison. Out of sorts. He'll sort himself out and he'll come back and he'll do like um, a thrash a, album, a collab with like a collab. I'd, I'd like to with like Snoop Usher. Snoop Daddy or whatever he's called Snoop nowadays. Daddy. Snoop Lion. Puff. Snoop Giraffe. Puff, Puff Doggy, or whatever they're called. Whatever he's been bloody smoking that week. Isn't it P. Diddy now? P. Diddy. No, I think he's just gone back Has to gone Puff? Puffy, Annie he, now? Is puffy? puffy now? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he used to be Puffy Coombs, didn't Puff, he? Puffy. Oh, dear. Like the books. No idea. He'll do something like that, and like he'll be puffing. really famous. Like no, puffing books. He'll do an album with Thrusher. Who's Thrusher? Thrusher. Thrusher. Who's Thrusher? He did... Um, do you think he'd ever do one with, like, you know, like, what's his name, like... Um, Eminem. No, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. What, Eminem what Bieber and Eminem? Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> you like he's done with Dido, <laughs> and he did one with someone hey. else, didn't I he? I think Eminem would rather shoot himself. I Who think. was the other one he did one with? That was quite good. Anyway, he's done a few, hasn't he? He's, he always samples tracks, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he sampled an Aerosmith track. Didn't yeah, he? yeah. One of them and, Sing for the moment. Yeah, well, that's brilliant. That he did um, Martika's Toy Soldiers as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome yeah, yeah. version of that as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he'd, so? You don't think he'd ever do he's one with Bieber? Seriously Bieber. talented, is Eminem. Yeah, Bieber. I'm sorry, Bieber. he is. No, Bieber. use that. No, sample I don't. that. I, don't. I think in, in years to come, people will be sampling Justin Bieber. But everybody samples everything. People can't write songs anymore. No, they can. That's not true. Like you said, there's a hell of a lot of artists out there, isn't there? Most of them British, probably. <laughs> pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pizza. I didn't have pizza. You two had pizza for your tea. Mm, mm. I did, yeah. I did. I had a Moroccan. Quick tea. 
lamb. Moroccan lamb. Moroccan lamb. Did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Good, really? It? It was really good. Does sound good. Catherine made it yesterday. Was it on it the bone? Nice. No, it was mince. Yeah, that sounds nice. Chickpeas and things. Cool. Mm. It was good. Sounds like a traditional Moroccan dish. Yeah. Almost. Another you'll again. Have, you'll have shits in money like a traditional Moroccan man. <laughs> <laughs> like you've been to Morocco. Yeah. Yeah. Morocco. A shout out to Catherine again for the baking. For making Moroccan lamb. For making the cherry and almond cake you've been eating all night. It's, it was nice, yeah. It was splendid. Yeah, nice. Fresh cake. from the Cuckoo's Bakery. Fresh. Fresh. Fresh, Fresh. Fresh from yeah. the Cuckoo's Bakery. Yeah. So thanks for that. You better pull your finger out, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> She's offered. Well, Sarah, there's no point offering. Sarah's our mega fan. Although the problem Sarah's is, you know, look at that breakfast. Mega it fan. It had mushrooms, tomatoes well, and fish fingers hang on, on a it. Minute, hang on a minute, elaborate. So Sarah posted a picture of an all-day breakfast that she was going to eat at like 7 o'clock yesterday night. Yeah. That apparently nearly made a chunder. I'm not surprised. Did you see the size of it? How much have been cooking it all day? <laughs> <laughs> I <don't, I> <laughs> You can have a breakfast at any time of the day. You can. Can't you? We're talking you can about fried them, breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it had like eggs and bacon, that's normally. Yeah. But then you said mushrooms and tomatoes. Do we always have them on a fried breakfast? No. Mushrooms and tomatoes have yeah. no place on a breakfast. Yeah, but they are on a breakfast. Love, they have yeah. no place on a everything, breakfast. Everything on Tin breakfast. tomatoes have no place on a breakfast. You always get a couple. No, just no. two. You, there is yeah. no. You do. Or You're beans. thinking of a grilled tomato. tomato. Yeah, grilled tomato. No. Beans. Yes. Now, if, you go, if, you go be, if you go to a no. if you go to a cat, no. you get tin tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> you eat tin tomatoes, they're not juice goes all over it. No. And no mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. And what the fuck mm. were them? I like a good potato fungus. croquettes. Potato croquettes. I've Hash not got enough carbs on here. I know what I'll use. <laughs> Some chips. <laughs> <laughs> they look like What's fish the fingers. Was there a lot of carbs on there? Well, there were ash browns. Beans. Beans. Black pudding. Got black pudding on it. They had black pudding on it. Two black. slices of black pudding. Mm, yes. No, well, I don't eat food like this. Very often. <laughs> so I fucking got the whole hog. <laughs> you got it all on bacon, sausage, black She pudding, had the lot. Tomatoes, the white the bread, normal it was, it was it was ah, a, That was one thing that was missing. It was want, a champion breakfast. I want a fried slice on there, whether No. Like a fried slice. The one, but don't you think it's either hash browns or a fly? A, fr- a fly? A fly? A fly? A fried Chinese. slice? <laughs> fly? A fly a fried fly. slice. It's either one or the other. And it's fried rice. Yes. You flick. <laughs> Beep. Lethal weapon four. Yes, we know. Uncle no. cool. with the laughing gas. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. no mushrooms. No tomatoes. Ooh. No potato croquettes. Croquettes. You don't have them on a breakfast. Why would you want potato croquettes I don't I don't and a hash brown? I don't it. think I've ever had a potato croquette. Give it bread. You've never eaten a potato croquette. Oh, I've had a potato croquette, but never on a breakfast. Never That's because a breakfast. they don't go with breakfast. Mm. That'd be like having curly fries. <laughs> In a curry. Why would you? do <laughs> I didn't curly fries with a curry, Ooh, yeah. but not with bacon and egg. Hang on a minute, curly fries with a curry? Yeah, why not? Why would you have curly fries? Why wouldn't you have curly fries with a curry? Oh, a curry. Well, why no. wouldn't you have curly fries with a breakfast? They do don't go with out. your breakfast. You don't have chips for breakfast, do you? I'm I don't think you have curly fries with a curry. Really. You won't go into a, you, you, don't, you won't go in a fish shop then, no, do you? Have chips and curry sauce. Yeah, well, yeah. You don't get curly fries. Talk to the hand, girlfriend. To the girlfriend. So pop yourself off to Akbar's and ask for curly fries and a call. If I asked, if I went to Akbar's, ask for curly fries. <laughs> they'd bloody get me some. <laughs> yeah, they probably would. Actually. They'd know me well down there. They'd run across to Farm Foods. They would chuck a bag down. Yeah, Farm Foods. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they? I've been to Jack Akbar's Fulton's. Years. That's why Akbar's gone to Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Twitter at Three Cuckoos or email us Three Cuckoos at Gmail dot com. Let's kick this <laughs> fucking bitch into high gear. On, with this week's Premier League premonitions. Now, obviously, Tim's had two weeks off. Is it? Sorry. What? Is it? Is that the, the name now? Premier yeah, League pre- I think premonitions. It's premonitions. Premonitions, yeah. Because oh, it, it pre- went from prophecies to predi- predictions. predictions to prophecies to premonitions. I think basically it's whatever P word I can be asked saying that yeah, week. On the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Sweet, so we'll okay. go with that. So um, from last week, um, Tim scored nothing for ignoring us. <laughs> um, and Rob and me. Tied with two points each Oof. out of a massive 30. Yeah. Shit, mate. It was crazy, though. At least we're consistent. Yes. Consistently shit. That's all we can say. So, let's kick it straight in. Ready? Always. Ready. Liverpool at home to Everton. Ooh. 3-2 Liverpool. Boom. Straight, straight in there. In there. Balotelli to win. to get the winner. Really? <laughs> Balotelli to win. <laughs> <laughs> Why always me? on that. 3-2 Liverpool. 
That's going to be a cracker, isn't yeah, it? I hope so. Hashtag I hope cracker. So. Um, I'm going to go. I am going to go two one Liverpool. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to go two nil Liverpool. Okay. Well, Liverpool wins. Next up, Chelsea. Chelsea <laughs> versus Villa. I'm going to go three one Chelsea. Ooh. Ooh. Although Villa have been playing well, but they looked a little shaky last Villa were gassed last week. Nil nil Chelsea yeah. Man City. No, one all. One all. One all. Right. Okay. Lampard for the winner. What did you go? Four one Chelsea. You didn't. You went three one. <laughs> three one Chelsea. <laughs> uh, Villa are suddenly looking all right, aren't what? they? Mm. Villa were garbage last week. Were they? I can't remember. They got hammered at home by Arsenal. Yeah. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna go. You went three one. Mm. I'm gonna go three nil. Mm. Chelsea, that is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go two nil. Okay. Again. Mm. Um, Palace against Leicestershire. I want to know what you're going to go first. Leicester. I mean, Palace are amazing. But nobody saw them getting five goals against Man United. And be, Leicester. Yeah, the and they beat Everton 3-2 yeah. at Everton last this, week. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Palace are scoring like for yeah. fun and so are Leicester. Uh, Leicester at home, sorry. Are they uh, no, they're away. Selhurst Park. Oh. Warnock's Warriors. Warnock's Warriors. Oh. Big nose, fat twat. One, two to Leicester. Whoa. It's a tough one, that. That ain't, a really... bad, that ain't a bad scoreline, actually. Yeah. It's a tough one, that. I'm not too You'd sure. You'd think Leicester have put this down as a win on their little yeah. budget, kind of, if you like. You know, when they do it, they do Palace a thing, are like six in the table. Yeah, but no, they do a and thing before home. the season yeah, starts, yeah, don't they? they? Do. Uh, these, these, what these, we need to win, yeah. what we need to... These are the games that can... Leicester will be looking at getting points from. Absolutely yeah. right. Um, you can only see it going... If, off the back of the Man United result, That's... you can only go see it one way, but... That's like thinking. you said, Palace, Palace have just come off a three-two win at Everton. Yeah, and three all at, at St James's Park. Oh man, um, it'd be a nil-nil. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, that's yeah, what draw. I was kind of thinking. What did you go two-one two one Leicester? Leicester. Um, I'm going to go three-two Leicester. Ooh, there will be definitely goals. Goals galore. Could be. There's a it? reoccurring theme here. Yeah, I'm going two-one Palace. <laughs> You're going for a Palace win. Oh, yeah, another at home. Uh, Dull City against uh, Man City. Vanquishers of the mighty Wednesday. Two one the City. Two one City. Two one City. Um, Got to go. City win. Three nil. Mm. Whitewash. Yeah. 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 Two nil City. <laughs> Manchester United. <laughs> Who <laughs> versus West Ham? That's anyone's guess, isn't it? Oh. Isn't it? It is at Old Trafford, though. There was, a, there was a vine that went on Twitter at about half past five on Sunday night. Yeah. And when the third, is it the third or the second goal for Leicester went in? Yeah. Rooney was going round each and every defender, like screaming yeah. in their faces. Yeah, he was. It was only like a five second that he was going mental. That's exactly what you need from your captain. Yeah, yeah. They could just do with it nine other players they that got, are as passionate as Rooney. They should never got rid of Rio. But, but he, he would have just stayed there for I know a what bit. you're saying, but. He's been garbage all the time. Oh, yeah, but it's They've spent experience. a fortune on all these strikes and they didn't You mean maybe him. just to have him in the dressing room? You yeah, mean, like they did for gigs. Yeah, they needed to sign at least one defender yeah, they did, and they yeah. haven't done. I feel they, sorry for they, Blackett, they though, because every, everybody seems to be ditch. going back to him going, yeah. you are the sole terrible thing that's yeah. coming out of this. Yeah. But, but they're not. They're all well. They're all as bad. They were defending in a diamond formation for some of those goals. I mean, who the hell's ever thought of that? Brilliant. I meant the midfield in the diamond. What did you say? Um, so we uh, um, right, Man, Man U, West Ham. Now, West Ham played pretty well against um, thing you that beat Liverpool, but they were at home. Yeah, they Liverpool did. They beat them, yeah. They were tired after Champions League. Tired my ass. Ridiculous. Liverpool just are not very good. But what's gone on? Because they've know, got rid of Suarez. Do you know what? That's the, it. It's, people are saying Gerrard's like, lost, lost it. Lost it, probably has. He's tired, isn't he? Oh, I have no <laughs> idea. This one. I'm going to go for Man U win. 2-1 I know it won't it's be it's got to happen it has yeah. to happen at some point doesn't it they've got goals Man U can score though but I mean yeah, I suppose. I don't know. they're going to let a goal in um, Man, <laughs> yeah okay alright Man U are top heavy they've got they've got oh, more going forward haven't they oh, they have me if, if they can come out quick oof then you're laughing aren't you yeah I mean they look they, going forward they play some nice if West Ham go 3-1 down they're not coming yeah, back yeah that's it are they but West Ham look pretty good. I'm going to go 3-1 Man U. Yeah. 2-0 Man U. 
That's 2-0. Two two third 2-0. Two, fourth 2-0 I've gone for. <laughs> out of five. Um, Southampton. Oh. Were, have started off brilliant. Yeah. squad, yeah. Against the, well, QPR. Oh, wow. Is it at Southampton Mary's? Yeah. Oh, I can't see QPR scoring. I'm sorry. I, can't, I love no. Harry, but I can't. They Just, can't get the ball. They're no. forwards. It's as simple as that. I think 2-0 Southampton. I think that might be a bit lean. I might get another one. Do you know what? I think it could be another killing for for honestly. I think yeah. QPR are going to get yeah. spattered. I think it could be their defense is terrible. Ter- absolutely mm. terrible. Terrible. Terrible, Gary. I'm going to go four nil. Southampton. I don't know. You might going to get whomped. Whomp, whomp, whomp. Two, two one. one. Southampton. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Sunderland against Swansea. Mm. Sunderland Lake. To all. Who did Swansea battle last night? Cut. Was it Arsenal? Um, no, Everton. Southampton beat Everton. Arsenal. Yeah, Everton. Everton. Battered them. 3 0. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go 2 1 Swansea. Hmm. Mm. Is it yeah. at Libet? It's at Sunderland. Sunderland. It's at Sunderland. The stadium. Stadium, stadium of Lake. It's been followed by a good podcast. Oh. Shout out for free. Cheers. Good podcast. Yeah, shout out for free. Shout it out. Shout it out. Hello, good podcast. Hello. Are you as good as us? We will, we will see. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done? Sunderland against Swansea. What's your score? Yeah, I said two on Swans. Thanks. Does un? I bloody said. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> nil one Swansea. Nil one. Arsenal. Oof. Yeah. Against Tottenham. Ooh, oh. these are always high scorers. Super Sunday. No. Is it Monday? Super Saturday? Is it still Saturday? We've got to get to the Sunday game. We've got to get to the Sunday game. Is it is it Highbury? No. Yes. <laughs> what? Highbury? Shooting to clock in. <laughs> no, it's at the Jihad Stadium, whatever it's called. Fucking Jihad Stadium. The Emirates that Stadium. Sorry. Oh, that's Man City I'm thinking of. 4 3 Arsenal. Jesus. Bloody hell, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, I love it more. <laughs> Um, six five, six five. A lot of time, a lot of the, a lot of the time, this game does actually, it, it, yeah, yeah, it, it does broke, go big it? sometimes. Yeah, it does. Um, Passions I, run high. I don't think it will though this time. No, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Arsenal two one. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my normal and go two, two nil, nil to Done. Arsenal. Um, <laughs> big game, biggest game of the weekend for Sunday. Oh, I can't wait. Super Sunday. Is it Stoke? West Brom. Versus Burnley. Oh, Jesus. Burnley. Super Sunday. <laughs> Burnley. That might be a bit loud. They're not at Turf Moor. <laughs> Turf Moor. Turf Moor. Moor. Timoth. Nil nil. That. <laughs> <laughs> West no score draw. West Brom. West Brom. Burnley. West Bromwich Albion. Albion. Albion for you American listeners. One all. <laughs> What's the latest score in the Quidditch? <laughs> Whoa, um, one nil to West Brom. Uh, Stoke City Monday night. Ooh, Stoke Monday. City against Newcastle United. MNF Monday night football. MNF. Is that when they give that rat face <laughs> Gary Neville that yes. computer program to? They give him three hours of solid yeah Neville analysis. Have to look at his Neville's analysis. Sour face. Where he's got like a touch screen that's as big as him. Yeah. Stoke versus Newcastle. Tsunami! Now Newcastle really need a win. Oh, Pardew's Pardew Pardew really needs a win. That I can see that being Kabala a draw. looked quite good though going forward, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Pappy Cissé. And Cissé looked really good when he came on on Sunday. But then the defence don't know what they're doing. Yeah. He's still got the players though as Pardew, so yeah. there's still hope. So I'd say 2-1 Newcastle. 2-1 Newcastle. There's not many teams go to Stoke and get a result. Uh, no. Yeah, they're really I'm, hard to play at the Britannia, yeah. aren't they? I'm um, going to go for that. Real Britannia! I'm going to go Sorry. for this. I'm going to go 2-1 Stoke. Ooh, Crouchy looks pretty tasty, doesn't it? Crouchy is tasty. tasty. I'm going to go 1-0 Stoke. 1-0 Stoke. He's better with the ball than people give him credit for. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. that's it. And that wraps it up for another week, boys and girls. Lovely. Tune in next week. Lovely. For Tune in next week for the next Quidditch results. <laughs> Slytherin 5 <laughs> Slytherin? I don't know any of the others You must do Gryffindor Yes, yes. yes. Gr- 
Scotland. Slytherin five, at Gryffindor four. <laughs> Is it Correct. Slytherin? Slytherin's Is one it? of them, yeah. Um, Baratheons. No. <laughs> <laughs> Baratheon bastards won. Baratheons. <laughs> Baratheon bastards. Join us next week on the Three Cuckoos Podcast for more Premier League predictions. Oh my god, that's just brilliant.